I'm Anil Kumar and now we are doing 8.3 evaluate logarithms. Here's a very interesting question. It is consider the expression log x. The base is 10 if not defined. It has three parts. We say for what values of x will this expression yield a positive value? The second part is for what values of x will this expression yield a negative value? And part C is, for what values of x will this expression be undefined? So it's a good place to start with log 10 of x. Let's get an idea about this function, right? Log 10 of x. If you sketch this function log 10 of x, that means you'll get something like this. Is it okay? Now, this is a standard graph for any logarithmic function where it is approaching infinity as x value approaches 0. So that is x for us and here in this case we have log to the base 10 of x. When x is 1 you will get 0. So that is your x intercept, right? Now the question here is for what values x or values of x will this expression yield a positive value? You can clearly see these values for x should be greater than 1, correct? Then, for what values x will this expression yield a negative value? They have to be less than 0 and, I mean, greater than 0 and less than 1, correct? And the last part is, for what values of x will this expression be undefined? So, those values are when x is less than 0, correct? You know, what is the domain of this function? We know domain for this function is x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than 0, correct? So that is the restriction on logarithmic function. So whenever you are evaluating logarithmic expressions, you can actually get negative or positive answer or even 0. Most of the time, if it is not a transformed function, 0 will always be at 1. And if x value is between 0 and 1, we get negative answers. If x value is more than 1, then we get positive answers. This helps to check your answer at times. Thank you and all the best.